But I knew when I got this record that it was a special record. To Sebastian is my Rush Gold Disc. Created this. Rock and Tell is like show and tell, but with rock memorabilia. Um, I, I mean, have, I have. What's up here? What's above your head? The photo behind me on the wall is the center fold. No, the poster that came in Hotel California, the record. This is the only photo. It is a composite photo. They, there was, this is the only one in the world. This is the picture that they made the poster out of for Eagles Hotel California. When I met my wife, Suzanne, I met her around Thanksgiving and for Valentine's Day, she gave me this. Okay, the other photos here are done by my great friend, Niels Lozauer, who is an incredible photographer. Uh, these are all signed, uh, Kiss backstage, Don Kirshner's rock, rock, or no, in concert, ABC's in concert. First time I ever played in LA. David Lee Roth, Eddie Van Halen, uh, Van Halen in the studio recording Women and Children first, Jimmy Page, uh, Mick Jagger, I don't think you can see that. Okay, and then over in the corner, there's me as Jesus Christ Superstar. Talk about what? Talk about, talk about adventuresome casting. Well, now, wait, Buck, isn't there, it, it's true that, weren't you the first like metal rocker guy to ever get to perform on Broadway? I was the first, yes. I started in Jekyll and Hyde in 2000. And uh, there were guys that, that performed in theater, but not on Broadway in Times Square. Like Ian Gillen originated the role of Jesus Christ Superstar on record, but he right. never did it live. Paul Stanley was a fan of the opera in Toronto, which is ironic because I'm from Toronto and I didn't, and he's from New York. <laughs> so I probably should have did it there and he probably should have did it there. But anyways, um, yeah, Jekyll and Hyde, and then I did uh, Jesus Christ Superstar, and then I did Rocky Horror with Dick Cavett, and um, Penn and Teller, and uh, a bunch of other people. I replaced Joan Jett on Broadway in Rocky Horror. Uh, amazing. We are playing a game of Rock and Tell, where he's showing us some rock memorabilia. Uh, surprise me with something. What do you got, I got there? Lots, I got lots to show you. Okay, here's, here's okay, here's, this will be cool. The very last gig, uh, uh, headline Sebastian Box show that I did before the world ended um, was, uh, okay, the world got postponed. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Pause on 2020. I'm actually trying, I'm actually feeling a little bit less grumpy now. I think the world's starting to maybe open up a little bit again. So. Fingers crossed. That's what I'm calling my tour now, the Fingers Crossed Tour. We're <laughs> yeah. supposed to be on tour in October. That's a good three or four months away. Last show I did was uh, the Legends of Rock Cruise with Roger Daltrey of The Who. And it was my second year doing it in a row. And Roger Daltrey also headlined last year and this year. I am a huge Who fan. Now, those of you with an internet connection will know that I presented Roger with his 72nd birthday cake on stage. Oh, yes, 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 I saw that. And he proceeded to smash it in my face. Yes. So let me just say, okay, the who have always been known as the bad boys of rock. Right. I am happy to report that nothing has changed. And instead of smashing guitars, they're just smashing cakes, man. Well, what, the thing that you don't know is that that night, my wife said, Sebastian, I have a surprise for you. And, you know, after I, just, I you know, I, I, I had a bunch of wine in me. It was a cruise ship. What the, what, what are you going to do? You know? Hey. So, <laughs> so, so I was like, I don't want to go anywhere. I was like, did my show. I got a cake in the face. I had had enough. Yeah. And she said, no, you got to come. And I was like, okay. And so she led me through all these catacombs and on the cruise <laughs> ship and everything. And I ended up and she opened a door and it was a private dining room and Roger 
summoned me to dinner with him and his band and my wife and he took us to dinner or had us at his table. I sat right across from him and I was all nervous because I was drunk. And I said to Suzanne, I go, I don't want to meet Roger Daltrey when I'm fucked up, man. That's bullshit. And she goes, okay, well, it's, it's all right. You know, I go, no, I don't, like, I really didn't want to. But I got there and Roger was pouring the finest red wine on the cruise ship, Roger. All right. <laughs> Roger's like, Sebastian, have a seat and have some wine. And we had a lot of wine. <laughs> we, and, and we had a great time and I got to pick Roger's brain and I brought his book. Uh, thanks a lot, Mr. Kibblewhite, which was his, one of his school instructors, and I got him to autograph it for me. And Roger Daltrey wrote to Sebastian Bach. You see this here? Let me see. They're getting nice and close. There oh, we there we go. To Sebastian. Be lucky? Yeah. Be lucky always <laughs> roger daltrey so that's really cool that's that is really cool. cool that is cool um, um and nice fan. that he was pouring wine because you are a, a wine guy in real life you weren't just faking it for a fancy dinner you do enjoy but a good you, wine, know you? you know i know something weird i've tried to keep up with my uh wine appreciation and lockdown and it it's gone down i i don't know what it is but i don't so, sometimes now like we were talking about this on the test call like i'll have some wine and at, at night time and then i'll wake up at three or four and more and go ah oh, this sucks and like yeah I, it's kind of a downer i i the quarantine panic wake up after two glasses three maybe and you're just like <laughs> it's different having wine in a lockdown under a pandemic than after a gig on a tour bus yeah <laughs> That's the quote of the century right there. Uh, yeah. Thank uh, you, Sebastian. Thank you. Hey there. Thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know. Just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into. Or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.